Hello everybody and welcome back to Visit File Coast. This time we're on Blackpool Seafront at the north end of the town and we're going to go and take a look at the colonnades. So we're at Pleasant Street tram stop quite early in the morning which is why I'm blinding you with the sun. So we're at Pleasant Street tram stop, that's not easy to say, um, not far from the Imperial Hotel and from above this is what the colonnades look like so if you've been on the prom and noticed these curved sweeps but not realise what's underneath it's the roof of the colonnade below so there's North Pier we're going to just pan across this lovely view of a lovely beach on a sunny morning look at that can't, can't get better can you and that is one of the colonnades from below so I'll just zoom in and show you what it looks like and then we're going to go for a walk down the path and take a look at it so you can see that there are columns supporting what I'm stood on at the moment and there's the Imperial Hotel just there in that gap <clears throat> so these are all the seafront hotels and, and different places to stay and we're going to go this way so, oh, just one thing before we go down there. Can you see where the cenotaph is? It's just at the right of Blackpool Tower. Another quick zoom. There you go, you can see it now. So the cenotaph is where the very, very first Blackpool illuminations were. And the, colon, the Princess Parade was built in 1912. I'm not quite sure exactly how much of it but certainly that bit near the cenotaph was built in 1912 and it was opened by um, Princess Louise and she she came and opened the illuminations sorry she came and opened the promenade and in honour of her visit they put the lights up which were the first classed as the first Blackpool illuminations so the colonnades are not really somewhere that you would come on a on a dim night because as you can see I mean they're in full exposed view of all the um, Irish Sea so they get hammered by the weather but these curved structures have been here since um, 1924 and they sort of loop round in bays like this and then join up so you've got um, five can you see down there? I'm not going to walk all the way down there there's five curved bays that stretch from the gin round about at that end so just turn round and we'll just turn this way a little bit up to um, oh, go on up to the cenotaph area at the other end. Let's have a wiggle, wiggle through here. There you go. So they carry on sort of up there, and these replaced the earlier grassy slope that was built between 1895 and 99. And I don't know if you've ever seen it, but if you're a big fan of all these past groups on Facebook there's a there's a few that are dedicated to Blackpool's past if you like this kind of thing you you ought to join it because there's all kinds of stuff on it um, and I've seen po photographs on the the Facebook groups of this section of sea wall before all this was built and it literally was a slope and you saw pictures of sort of bits of it falling off <laughs> is a bit a bit weird if you're on the bit that happens to fall off so as you're down here you can you can see them look stretching out into the distance so all of this sea front is sort of scalloped in these curves and the five curved bays cover nearly a kilometer of sea front I mean it must be a nightmare to maintain it's a lovely morning today and the weather and the I mean you can see the depth of the sea wall down to the beach and you still see spray when you're on the promenade highway so maintaining it and trying to keep it 
in good structural order and looking tidy must be a nightmare. Anyway, they were designed by the borough architect, John Charles Robinson. I'll just walk down here a bit and then we'll show you the, the outside of it because I think this is the last one near to the cenotaph end. So they were designed by borough architect John Charles Robinson and they were intended to make a bold statement about promenading and Blackpool's unrivaled assets. So there you go, unrivaled assets. I mean, I can't, I can't disagree, really. I mean, look at that for a view. You can just imagine people, can't you, when they were promenading in the big crinoline frocks. I might be in the wrong historical period, but they certainly wore long dresses in the 1920s. And they dressed in the Sunday best, walking up and down and enjoying it. So each colonnade has 24 of these Tuscan columns. And that, just before we walk any further, that big red building there just looks as if it's underneath the tower. That's the Metropole Hotel. And there was a colonnade under there and it was bricked in to form an air raid shelter in World War II. Not finished yet, because there's another fascinating fact. On the 25th of July 1944, US Army Private Thomas Montoya murdered a Bispam woman called Joan Long. Now, I don't know whether he murdered her in the air raid shelter underneath the Metropole, or whether he just nobbled her down here, but one way or another she made a sticky end. So that's the Imperial, look there, that one, that bay there, that one, and that one at the back of it is what used to be the Hilton and is now called the Grand. I'm just wondering what these are doing. They do a lot of running races on here, so maybe they've been having an event because it's a long flat straight, you can... Uh, set up for it and it's not it's not in the middle of the road and not dangerous so you can see that there are these slopes down to the beach I'm not going to walk down there I'm not going to walk down there because when you go down you've got to come back up so we're going to turn round and we're going to go walk back towards Blackpool now and the tide's coming in it's been really bad weather overnight in fact it has been quite bad for a few days um, so today's today's a lovely day so we've we've come we've come out to capture some views for you for visit file coast because don't forget that visit file coast has been publishing information online for the last 10 years there's shed loads of information all kinds of interesting things there's a there's a page on the Live Blackpool website about the colonnades. So I'll add, I'll add the link to this section of seafront to this video in the description. And then you can read that. So while you're there, there's also a link to our weekly email newsletter. So you can sign up for that and you'll get, you'll get um, weekly information straight into your inbox all about all of this interesting stuff oh it's bright that sunshine it's hard to imagine isn't it in 1924 i mean it's another four years and it's 100 years old wow it's not done bad for a hundred years I think these are all the old original railings. You see that tram just passing above? That's picking his passengers up. Yeah, so once you've subscribed for your newsletter, you need to also subscribe as well for your for the YouTube channel. Make sure you've hit the bell for notifications and then you'll find out what we're what we're videoing next because we're bringing all of 
visit Vile Coast to Life in video. And just finally to end on, we've now arrived at the Blackpool Beach Patrol cabin, headquarters, call it what you will. So this is where the Coast Guard and the RNLI and the volunteers and whatnot hang out. And they're the guys that come out and rescue you when you've got stuck on the beach when the tide's coming in. So from a sunny, lovely Blackpool, you'll have a lovely day and we'll see you soon. Bye!